So let's um, delve in a little bit into these three terms that show up in the first order condition for optimal UI. These are really the kind of the, these are the three key terms and they each have a specific economic meaning and they have implications for our uh, uh, policy design. So the first term is the fact, you know, it, it, the first term, the formula, the first part of the formula is D social welfare DUI keeping tightness constant is equal to zero. That's really the first, that's the first block in the formula. So what is that first block? So this is saying we want uh, UI to maximize welfare, basically, because the first order condition when we keep tightness uh, constant. So what comes out of that, the UI level that solve this equation is a UI that maximizes welfare, but the key thing that the partial derivative well, theta is kept constant, so keeping theta constant. This is our first term. Um, so what is that? Well, that's, so it, this is a kind of an optimal policy, but that omits the response of tightness. Okay? And so that's basically the optimal unemployment insurance in a um, you know what we could call a partial equilibrium setup, so a setup that keeps tightness constant, or you could call it a, you know, a partial equilibrium setup, or a micro setup, as opposed to macro, where macro would take into account how tightness evolves. And in fact, um, there is a kind of long history in public finance uh, of um, papers that study optimal unemployment insurance exactly in that setup, in a setup in which uh, tightness is kept, kept constant, in a setup in which you know, we omit kind of the labor demand side of things, we don't look at how tightness moves, we keep tightness constant and we just focus on what the optimal uh, UI should be in a setup like this. So in a setup like this, uh, you know, so what, what does UI uh, do? So UI providing unemployment insurance improves insurance of unemployed workers, but it has a cost in that it reduces effort by unemployed workers, which eventually reduces you know, employment and output. So this UI that omits the change in tightness is really the UI that solves optimally the trade-off between insurance and incentive that comes from, uh, from the policy. So it's a UI that sort of optimizes the trade-off between incentives. So here, incentives that UI gives is that if you give more UI, you have a cost in terms of incentive, you know, people search less, so output is less, and insurance. If you give more UI, you insure unemployed workers better, that's a good thing, you know? So that UI that solve uh, this equation, D social welfare, the UI keeping theta constant equal zero is a UI that sort of optimizes the trade off between incentive and, and, and insurance. And so that's a, uh, this UI level has been studied a lot in public finance. This UI is given by a uh, public finance formula that we call. is called um, the Bailey Chetty formula. After the two uh, main researchers who, uh, who developed it, Bailey in the 70s and Ratchet in 2006 kind of updated um, the approach. Uh, so this belief uh, Chetty formula, it's uh, a formula that you know, looks at the labor market but keeping the tightness constant and is, is, uh, and is solving the trade-off between incentive and uh, insurance. 
And so that formula, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. So it's a formula that's very popular, that's very well known, that has been used a lot. Uh, the key thing about to know about this formula is that this formula gives optimal the optimal generosity of UI. Um, as a function of actually two statistics, and that's really the main thing that we have to do uh, here. So what are these two statistics? The first one is epsilon small m, the micro elasticity of uh, unemployment. With respect to UI, and the key, the key thing here is that when the microelasticity is bigger, so what does that mean? That's when an increase in UI has a bigger effect, a bigger negative effect on effort, then optimal UI is smaller. Okay, so when your when we see that UI has a big disincentive effect on search, then we want less UI. Okay, obviously, you know, we're solving the trade off between insurance and incentive. Here, we're saying when the microelasticity is large, it means that the cost of UI in terms of incentive is large, so you want less UI. And the second uh, statistic that plays a, a big role in that formula is uh, basically the ratio between the marginal utility of consumption. And that ratio uh, of marginal utilities, it measures the need for insurance. So essentially, you know, if these two marginal utilities are the same, it means that uh, unemployed workers and employed workers they value consumption the same. So in that case, there is no need to provide any insurance. If the marginal utilities are very different, and so in particular, if the marginal utility of an employed worker is very large, it means that they value consumption much more than employed workers. So you would want to redistribute consumption away from employed workers who don't value it much and towards an upper worker who value, it, uh, who value it a lot. So when that ratio U prime C U C E over U prime C U goes up. So of course that, that ratio uh, because the consumption of the unemployed is always less than the consumption of the employed the marginal utility of the unemployed is always more than the marginal utility of the employed. So that ratio here is always less than one. But when the ratio goes up, it means it gets closer to one. So I should say this is um, between zero and one, the ratio of uh, marginal utilities. That's because unemployed always continue less than the employed. When that ratio goes up towards one, it means that in fact the consumption of the unemployed is closer than the consumption of the to the consumption of the employed. The marginal utilities are closer. In that case, it means there is you know uh, less need for insurance. So then optimal UI is also going to fall. So basically, the two things that happen that in that case, when the microelasticity is larger, it means that the incentive cost of UI goes up. So UI has a higher cost, so then it's optimal to reduce it. When this ratio of marginality goes up, it means that the uh, insurance value of UI goes down. 
And again, if the value of UI goes down, then it's also optimal to reduce optimal UI. So that's, that's how this term, uh, that's how the Bellicelli formula of UI.